Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear students. As you know, in these days we are discussing the this topic, which is machine translation approaches, issues, and challenges. Uh, so far, uh, we have discussed rule-based machine translation approach uh, in the previous lecture. In this lecture, we are going to quickly uh, see the uh, two more approaches. One is corpus-based machine translation approach (CBMT), and number three is the hybrid machine translation approach. Sometimes hybrid machine translation approach uh, can also be, uh, or some people prefer to uh, make it one category of uh, corpus-based machine translation approach because of, of of this element element of corpus working behind this approach. But here we have uh, separated these two. So we will uh, talk about the corpus-based approaches related to corpus-based machine translation and hybrid machine translation approaches. So uh, we see that the uh, the corpus-based machine translation that is CBMT has uh, two uh, main categories. One is statistical machine translation where the word statistic is very 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 important here that should be kept in mind because as I always say that uh, actual working or actual functioning of uh, or preparation of uh, machine translation systems through these approaches uh, is for us is 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 not our area but we can uh, we can get some orientation and very good orientation i must say uh, through some different uh, techniques so, so keep eye on the word statistic here in the first one and in the second example based machine translation which is ebmt with this uh, with these two key words uh, we can uh, move on and see that the first you know a corpus bay machine translation the concept of a corpus bay machine translation as the word corpus indicates uh, is that there is a lot of data and that's why it is also known as the data driven machine translation because the uh, as compared to the previous uh, first approach which was a rule based machine translation approach where we saw that the rules of the languages or the linguistic rules are actually fed to the system to the uh, to the computer software to produce translation but here the huge data actually is uh, fed and provided to the machine for uh, the output as translation so Corpus based machine translation uses bilingual parallel corpus to obtain knowledge for new translation. Where on one side uh, data related to one language and on the other side the data translated into other language are provided to the machine. This is the first general step that should be taken. So it is a large amount of raw data in the form of parallel, parallel uh, corpora. So the point number one, two and three, they are actually complementary. So we should understand these uh, points uh, together, better to understand them together. So huge raw data is uh, acquired or prepared and it is provided to machine for the next step. The raw data contains text and their translations of course there is an example corpus of English on one side and corpus of Arabic on the other side if we want to uh, translate between these two languages. So matching the translations through various ways so uh, we will see this last point is very important because this is relevant to uh, the both the categories that we have uh, seen in the previous uh, slide that is statistical machine translation and example based machine translation because matching the translation through various ways so only difference between statistical machine translation and example based machine translation is this one that the technique of matching uh, techniques are different in these two different categories Okay, statistical machine translation is the analysis of bilingual text corpora as we have seen that the, the common uh, feature of both these uh, uh, you know, categories, statistical and example based machine translation 
approaches. Uh, the the there is a bilingual uh, corpora behind uh, the uh, you know fed into machine but the the next step is using probability theory where uh, the machine or the brain of the machine uh, try to assess or try to find what you know one sentence on one side let's say arabic is uh, there is an arabic sentence on one side on one corpora and there is english sentence which is translation uh, on the other side is what uh, is the probability of occurring the translation of this arabic sentence into english so there this statistical tool is uh, you know applied prepared first and then applied uh, for the processing of uh, the most suitable uh, translation uh, among the available data in these two corpora so every sentence in one language is a possible translation of any sentence in the other so the, 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 the foundation is this one uh, the assumption is this one that the you know every sentence in in arabic is is a possible translation of of uh, any sentence in in english in the example that we are uh, carrying with us in this example uh, in this uh, instance so as i said earlier on we we can say that there are two major steps one is collecting gathering the parallel uh, data and providing it to the machine this is number one major step and number two uh, is the is the applying the probability theory or pro providing the probability theory to the machine and training the machine for effective processing and producing uh, better or suitable translation uh, there are some issues associated to statistical machine translation and frankly speaking some of them of course are very much related to statistical machine translation but some others they are general they are not specific to, to statistical machine translation only so real world probability may may affect the translation this is very much specific uh, to statistical machine translation if uh, a word berlin is used in a sentence uh, where of course uh, we are talking about a train so uh, you know the the what is the probability of this translation is paris because uh, uh, as for the data is concerned actual data which is provided or prepared data which is of course which also is based on the act taken or driven uh, extracted from uh, some databases or some other sources uh, where the prob most probably the word Paris because uh, in Europe uh, most of the trains they head towards Paris and there are a lot of uh, routes that uh, take uh, you know their uh, their journey from Paris toward other cities so Paris becomes a hub for the journey through train so the, the machine or brain of the machine would of course according to this uh, uh, the, the applica application of uh, probability theory the brain would select Paris instead of Berlin because the, 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 the selection is based on the, on the probability uh, theory or the techniques. The second example could be in the Islamic studies if this word and if it is used in if it is translated it is to be translated into English so nowadays the data that is the language data that is produced in English about Islam and Islamic studies you know is is the most uh, uh, you know occurring phrase is Islamophobia instead of Islamic studies so this could be the that the real world probability may affect the translation so instead of uh, translating Islamic studies into Islamic studies into English for example it would give us the islamophobia because this is this is, this is occurring you know most of the time in the literature on the data that have been collected gathered and fed to the machine translation of idioms as i said earlier this is not specific to statistical machine translation translation of idiom is not only related to machine issue related to machine translation it is an issue even related to human translation as well Uh, word order in various languages can hamper the quality of translation 
another problem which is related to not only statistical machine translation it is the corpus based machine translation in general is the is the creation of a corpora can be very costly uh, dear student i here i would like to remind you of uh, of what we have discussed earlier in rule based machine translation where the uh, preparation of rule update updating rules or correcting rules uh, you know or going into the details of the linguistic rules is very much time taking and costly here the collection of uh, data or preparation of the corpora uh, these are two major things that can be costly a statistical machine translation does not work well between languages that have different word orders so point number one and three should be understood uh, you know with the help of each other so the here of course the if we are translating from one european language into arabic and vice versa uh, the, the 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 statistical machine translations uh, the data itself and also the training the machine would uh, uh, would be a, a difficult task Example based machine translation, of course, the, the most similar uh, element between this and the previous statistical machine translation is it is this is also based on bilingual corpus with parallel text as we have seen uh, during the previous slides. So there are four tasks example acquisition, uh, example base and management, example application and synthesis. Uh, here the key word is, uh, uh, you know, is analogy. I mean, what is uh, what can be a good example of uh, this? Which sentence starts with uh, these words and and the ending of that? Let's take a quick example here. The example of bilingual corpora on, on my right side is Arabic. On my left side is this one. How much is that? If we take the left side, is the original text, and we are translating into into Arabic. So. How much is that and how much is that in both the corpora in both the sentences so we find red shoes and small ca camera if it is translated the first one is with this example red shoes or small camera the machine brain is trained to understand this example and then follow the translation in other sentences so if it is translated through machine supposedly through machine brain so it would be like this ma saman o kam yukallif zalik al hada al ahmar o ma saman o kam yukallif tilka al kamera al saghira there are you know uh, challenges associated with example based machine translation it requires analysis and generation of modules to produce the dependency trees needed for example the databases and for analyzing the sentence uh, to uh, to give a quick explanation of uh, these three lines, I will uh, go back to the example here. So if we want to uh, 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 prepare a tree, as we have seen here, dependency tree here, because examples are, uh, you know, are put together in such case, in this very small example, how much is that? So we need to prepare a dependency tree under this. What words can come after that as an example or analogy? Uh, to complete the sentence so the the depend the preparation or produce the dependency tree needed for example database for analyzing the sentence is uh, is, is is need you know generation of uh, analysis and generation is time taking and costly another problem with EBMT is uh, you know required computational efficiency especially for large databases uh, you see uh, i would not say that from this aspect it, it is a uh, it is not similar, but we can understand the analogy of RBMD, where we were talking about the linguistic rules. But here we are talking about, uh, in a way, also the linguistic examples. So uh, the, the preparation of these examples and putting them into dependency trees and you know, tagging these certain phrases to the these trees and so on and so forth is, is a is a is a, is a time taking and also it needs computational efficiency for this purpose the last here number three is hybrid for this lecture hybrid machine translation approach and you can understand the keyword hybrid which means combination of both statistical and rule based translation methodology so in this approach uh, the 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 best of statistical and the best of rule based 
machine translation methodologies are uh, put together for the creation of a good machine translation so here we here two models are used number one is translations are performed in the first stage using a rule based approach followed by uh, a statistical model the second model is rules are used to pre process the input data as well as post process the statistical output so in the first model we have two stages and in the second model we have uh, three stages and we can visualize uh, these two models with the help of this uh, uh, you know image where we see on the left side is rule based machine trust step number one and then SMT step number two this is model number one the second model is rule based machine translation and then statistical machine translation in between and then followed by uh, uh, I mean uh, rule based machine translation to create to enhance the quality of uh, translation so of course if we want to talk about the issues related to hybrid machine translation approach we can talk about the the, the time uh, required for because the combination of although i said the best but the best of course in 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 performance but not best in in preparation uh, because the rules are always preparation of the rules are always very much uh, uh, time taking and costly and SMT you know uh, uh, then f creating a kind of synergy between these two approaches uh, another aspect uh, which requires uh, a special kind of uh, computational uh, expertise and if we go to the second model which is uh, of course uh, on one on, on first step and the third step where RBMT and be in between SMT the the previous uh, two you know issues are also associated or maybe more intensely associated uh, with this model so uh, my dear uh, thank you very much for being with me with this we end this lecture a very short one and see you in uh, during the classroom for the discussion of uh, questions and a couple of other things assalamu alaikum